All right, then welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question, Mocha and Math. Now, this is a very easy question, like really easy question. I hope you have solved it. But the main takeaway from this video should be how can you use uh, accumulate with a custom sort of operation, right? So, I'll show you in this video how can you write accumulate uh, using a bitwise AND operation, right? So, I hope you've read the question once. So, if not, let me read it out for you. So, what we are given here is we are given an array of length n and one operation, uh, the operation that is defined here is uh, this girl, Mocha, can uh, select the arbitrary interval. LNR and all the values in the subsegment uh, will be replaced like this. So, for example, if you pick a subsegment like this, A2 to A5, A2 will be replaced by A2 and A5, A3 will be replaced by A3 and A4, A4 will be replaced by A4 and A3, A5 will be replaced by A5 and A2. So, like this is written like A AL plus I with AL plus I and AR minus I. So, like, in simple words, uh, this A1 will be matched with A5 and A1 will be replaced by A1 and A5. Similarly, A5 will be replaced. Uh, so, let's take this example, right? Uh, from Let's take this subsegment. So, A2 will be matched with A5. So, it will be replaced by A2 and A5. And A5 will be replaced by A5 and A3. Similarly, A3 will be matched with A4. A3 will be replaced by A3 and A4. And A4 will be replaced by uh, A4 and A3. Fine. So, what they are asking us is, so the operation is fine, right? So, we are just ma matching elements like this. A2, A5, A3, A4. Similarly. And we are just replacing the respective elements. Right? So, that's that. And what we want is, we want to minimize the maximum value in the sequence. The maximum value in the sequence needs to be minimized. And... Yeah, that is the question basically. In the end, we have to print the minimum value of the maximum value in the sequence. Fine. So, minimum value of the minimum value of the maximum value. So, after we can apply this operation any number of times. What is the operation? Uh, pick a subsegment, pick a subsegment, and uh, replace the elements like this. That is, match the first guy with the last guy and uh, replace it like this A2, A5, and match the second guy with the second last guy, match the third guy with the third last guy, and replace the respective elements. Right? So, that's what it is. And perform this operation any number of times, uh, pick LNR any number of times, but you want to minimize the maximum value in the sequence. So let's just go to sublime and quickly make sense out of this question. So what we have is we want to minimize the maximum value. Right? We want to minimize the maximum value. And uh, what is the basically operation here? Pick LNR, pick LNR, and replace the elements uh, in the manner that they were they have given, right? So match the first guy. If I pick the entire subsegment here, match even with A4. So replace even with A1 and A4, A4 with A1 and A2. Then match A2, A3, replace A2 with A2 and A3, and replace A3 with A3 and A2. That's what it is given. Right? So that's uh, the operation that you defined. We want to minimize the maximum value. Okay, fine. We want to minimize. And the operations that we are doing here is the operation that we have in our end is bitwise and. Now, quickly, you should uh, remember the property of bitwise and. So, 1 and 0 is 0, 0 and 1 is 0, 0 and 0 is 0. In other words, if both the bits are 1, then only you get 1. Fine. Now, you want to minimize the maximum value, right? You want to minimize the maximum value. Now, this observation is also not very difficult to make. If you have A1 and A2, now if you have, let's say, A1, if you have A1, and you and it with a2 less than equals to minimum of a1 and a2 right so this should not be very difficult uh so what i'm saying is guys see if you have a number like this 1010 and you and it with any other number in the worst case in the worst case it will be equal to minimum of this right so minimum of this number is this right in the worst case it will be minimum of this so it can either remain same or some bits can be lost for example for this one here i can put zero here and then automatically it will become one zero one zero 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 right so when you add two numbers, the number can be either equal to minimum of these two numbers. So basically, if you add it with some all ones, then of course, it will be equal to minimum of these numbers or it can reduce or it can reduce. Now, what I want is I want to minimize the maximum value and right? I want to minimize the maximum value. So if somehow by using by this observation, if, I, if by adding the numbers, the number is getting reduced, right? If the number is getting reduced, if somehow I can get all the elements to be equal to A1 and A2 and A3 and A4, basically so on till a n then my job is done right if somehow i can get all the elements equal to so if i are if i want to write more succinctly if i want to replace if i somehow can get all the elements to be and of all the elements from 1 to n then my job will be done because i'm sure a1 and a2 and so on till a n will be smaller than will be smaller than every element in the array right it will be basically this inequality will be like if i so similarly if i and here a3 it will be smaller than minimum of a1 a2 a3 if i and it with a4 this will be smaller than minimum of a1 a2 a3 a4 and this directly comes from this fact guys uh if in the worst case if all ones are present in other guys uh, other guys the minimum number will hold otherwise uh the number will reducing right because uh you need both uh, you need ones at the both bit position to make sure that the final bit is also one right so when you and and many numbers the chances of number getting less the number will either stay same to the minimum number or maybe even less right so if i somehow i can make all the elements equal to and of all the elements in the array, bitwise and of all the elements in the array, I'm definitely sure my maximum value, my maximum numbers value will be minimized. The maximum value will be minimized. 
right? So that observa observation is fine. So somehow, if I can get this, somehow, if I can get this, that is replace all the elements and of bitwise and of all the elements, then my job will be done, right? So that's what I'll be after. If I can do this, then my answer will be simply bitwise and of all the operation, right? So that will be my maximum number, which is minimized, right? Okay, so can you replace all the elements here with the bitwise and of all the elements is my question to you. Okay, let's just try it. Let's just try a simple operation. Let's just pick uh, L equals to 1, R equals to uh, 4. Okay, I'm just trying. Okay, I'm just trying uh, to see if I can do this. So, after that, we'll be replace something like this, right? So, 1 will be paired with 4. So, I'll write something like this. And 1, 4. Then it will be and 2, 3. It will be and 3, 2. Or 2, 3, fine. And it will be and 1, 4. Right? So, 1 will be paired with A4. So, E1 will be replaced by and of A, A1 and A4. A4 will be replaced by and of A1 and A4. And it will be replaced by and of 2, 3 and so on, right? Okay, fine. Um, I want 2, 3 here, right? I want 2, 3 here. Maybe if I can just uh, pick this uh, segment, my life would be easy, right? If I, if I can pick this sub-segment, my life would be much easier. So what I'll do is, I'll pick L equals to 1, R equals to, L equals to 1, R equals to 2. So basically this sub-segment, this is the sub-segment I want, right? So how will it be? It will be replaced by 1, 2, 3, 4. It will be replaced by 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Of course, these two will be matched, right? So end of these two, here, here. Let's match these two then. Similarly, 1, 2, 3, 4 you can get. And 1, 2, 3, 4 you can get. Fine. So you are able to replace all the elements with bitwise and of the entire array. Right? Accumulation of bitwise and of the entire array. And that's what you're going to replace. And you are definitely sure this is the smallest value that you can get in the array. So all in all, what you've done is you have minimized the maximum value. Right? You have minimized, minimized the maximum value. Right? Because you're sure even and a2 and so on and with the smallest value possible. And that's what you've done here. Right? So the question is done and here. Uh, since you are able to do this, there we had no constraint about minimizing the number of operation. We just have to return the minimized uh, maximum value, right? That's what we have to return. Minim the minimum possible value of the maximum value of the array, right? So that's what we have done. So okay, so let's uh, quickly code it up. So what we want to do is we just want to perform bitwise and among all their elements. That will be answer. So you can use the for loop here, but I'll be very lazy here and uh, use accumulate because I want to flex <laughs> my C++ skills. But anyway, you I'll use accumulate here. And uh, usually this is what you write, right? arr dot begin, arr dot end and the initial value you provide. So this will basically sum all their elements uh, with the starting value taken as 0, but you don't want that. So here uh, you want the starting value to be array of 0. The operation here that you want will be not plus, it will be a steady bit and of int like this. So you have to pass here a function object. So this function will be used. Now you'll use a steady bit and. So what now what will happen is a0 and a1 and a2 and a3, so on will be taken and uh, starting value will be a0. Now of course uh, a0 will be and a2 times, but doesn't really matter, right? So what will happen here is, uh, ARR of 0 and ARR of uh, 0 and ARR of 1, ARR of 2 will happen. But it doesn't really matter, right? So X and X is 1, right? So X and X is simply X. So this is not going to change anything. The answer will still be same. So yeah. So this is the entire code, basically. We have written uh, accumulate ARR begin, ARR dot end, starting value ARR of 0. And uh, this is the operation we are going to use. STD, bit, and of and. Fine. So we just uh, finally just print the answer on a new line. Cool. So I guess you learned something new today. Let me just quickly run it and see. So 0, 1, 3, 3 should come. Yeah, 0133, 3, 3, it is coming. So let me just uh, quickly submit it and see if it works. Right, it works. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of the video. I'll see you in the next one.